It's no secret that Gastown is BC's premier hub for contemporary Native artwork. One such art dealer is the Hills Native Art Store, located on 165 Water Street. For 33 years, this salient gallery doesn't just exhibit the work of one artist, but an array of artists from up-and-coming and established artists from all over. We're here meeting with Tim Strang, marketing manager of the Hills Native Art Gallery, to give the Gastown Blog team its first tour of the store. Hey, Tim. How are you doing, Tony? Good to see you. Yeah, uh, thanks. So tell us about the Hills Native Art Gallery. Well, we've been here in Gastown for about 30 years. And over that span, uh, we've seen a lot of changes. Uh, the art has, has, hasn't changed so much, it's the perception, the world's perception of the art. An example of that is, is our name. Our name is Hills Native Art, mm -hmm. but uh, we used to be called Hills Indian Crafts. So just those two slight changes in the words, Indian Crafts <laughs> to Native Art, that sort of reflects the worldwide view. I mean, it's become from a craft, it's become art. I mean, it's become perceived as, 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 a, as, as something that's desirable and, and worthwhile of attention. And it's captivated the world. What sort of artists do you guys carry? Do you have a lot of local artists? And yeah, it is. It's a coastal art form. So artists from Victoria all the way right up to Haida Gwaii. I see. Looks like there's a lot of people in here today. Uh, what are some some of the cool things that people people are getting right now? Well, there's there's yeah. probably the biggest seller, of course, is the Anuk Shuk. Uh, it's it's become the symbol of the games. Uh, but probably the the other best seller is is Andy Everson Prince. Uh, he's the one artist from this coast that really. Besides Susan Point, he's the one artist that really went out and, and did something special for the Olympics. And so he used sort of 10 of the games, and he chose an athlete from them, and he, and he, and he made a, uh, um, used a, a Salish spindle whirl as a backdrop, okay. and just did these prints that have been selling like we can't even keep them in the window. <laughs> yeah. Okay, great. Well, that's it from the Gastown blog. Thanks a lot, Tim, for no showcasing your hills. Yeah. And you can find the Hills Art Gallery on 165 Water Street.